So that was it at first. So basically it was like really, like we kind of didn't really have anything to it. We were like, all right, we don't know. We didn't really know what we want to do with it quite yet. Um, and we had this at the end too. Something like that. And so yeah, that was like like the original version. We just didn't really know kind of like what direction it would go in. And now it's so different. And like, there's this, uh, I don't wanna ruin the song. Not that I'm gonna ruin it because like, but there's a part in there that's like very, um, it's very Spanish, like very flamenco. And like, I'm re I freaking love that part about it. Ray is such a phenomenal guitar player. But, and then also there is a version with a very, very different drum line where it's like, more the original recording was um uh she probably eight months ago eight nine months ago probably um but yeah so like we did the original recording um like eight nine months ago and that was kind of like what happened with it you know we, we really liked like what it was and we really kind of were like oh, okay this is cool and then we finished it out and then i sat Whoa. So basically that's uh, kind of what it is. And so, yeah, that was kind of how it started. And um, if y'all have any questions, feel free to ask because I don't really know what else to talk about. <laughs> But yeah, so that's kind of, uh, what's your favorite Mariah Carey song? I don't know. Uh, all I want for Christmas is you. Uh, yeah, and so basically this is going to come out literally tonight in like a few hours here. So it's like literally coming out very, very soon. Uh, <laughs> thanks, guys. Uh, I've been writing music for like a while now, but like actually kind of sessions every week. So like we'll have like every Sunday, like all my friends will come over and uh, we'll all hang out and uh, make music. So that's like really, really fun. Honestly, we, we do that a lot. And uh, yeah, and my skin is not clear right now. I promise I'm like been having some breakouts. It's just, I, uh, I got a ring light. I have a ring light that helps a lot because uh, on this production, I have a lot of makeup on and stuff and it, it makeup always makes me break out pretty badly, but Am I gonna do any collabs in the future? Yes, yeah, I actually am gonna do a collab in the future. Uh, one of which uh, with my friend Finn, that song should be coming out in like two months, maybe. Also, if y'all haven't caught on, I'm putting out a song like on every 15th, the 15th of every month. As, as far as like, as long as like, I'm not like shooting Love Victor or something like that, I'm gonna try to put out a song the 15th of every month. So that will be fun. What What are all the instruments you play? Um, I play piano, obviously. Uh, I play a little bit of guitar, a little bit of like bass, a little bit of drums. I really like the uh, the congas and the bongos. I love that so much. I'm not like really great at it or anything, but that's like an instrument I really, really enjoy. Um, that's about it. Like a little bit of everything. I, I just try to like hop around to like each instrument and just try to, you know, play different stuff and see like what I like. Would I ever dye my hair? I would love to dye my hair, honestly. <laughs> like. Something like that. And yes, I, I did play Victor. I love Victor. That was that was me. What is your favorite song at the moment? Ooh. Oh, wait. There's this song I heard 
uh, that's really freaking good. Um, hey, I'm gonna pull it up right now. It's really good. I'm gonna show y'all. My friends wonder what is wrong with me. Ooh. Okay, this song. It's called Love Ones. The song is fire. Wait. I don't know if y'all can hear this. It's really good. Loved Ones by Ar Armando Young. Really good. It's so fire. It's like such a, such a good song. But yeah. Um, if y'all have any more questions about Little Blue Car, just let me know. Um, it should be on Dolby Atmos. I don't know. I, I put it on uh, DistroKid, which is like, have I explored Atlanta? Yes, I have. I went to the aquarium. I went to the, uh, to the botanical gardens, which is really pretty. I went to all the really freaking good vegan spots, which is fire. I do have golden retriever energy. I'm very uh, key. I don't know. Like, or not, maybe not ADD. I don't know. I've never been diagnosed. I should probably shouldn't say that. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys. Uh, my favorite line from, oh wait, oh, I can show you guys my next song that's coming out. Should I show y'all a little bit of the next song coming out? Let's see. What vegan spots? Uh, Slutty Vegan was great. Next song, yes. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. Overwhelming, yes. Okay. Uh, cigarettes and incense in my And that's all y'all are getting for right now. <laughs> uh, I, I might shoot a music video for Little Blue Car. Like, it just kind of depends on, like, obviously music video. I'm, guys, I'm completely indie. So, like, I'm just kind of doing this uh, all on my own at the Momo. So, it's, like, all self-funded and, like, you know, I'm kind of doing my own rollout and stuff. So, with that, it's, like, kind of hard Monty's is amazing, but it's kind of hard to like fund like a whole bunch of music videos because obviously they can get pretty expensive. So, uh, Little Blue Car is going to be on iTunes in literally, uh, two and a half hours, two and a half hours. Guys, this is crazy. This is happening so fast. <laughs> um, wait, let me see. Uh, I think probably this part, like, uh, now I'm just a stranger, now I'm just a... Because it's true, like, I feel like, like, uh, when you get out of, like, a relationship, you, you know, there, it's kind of like the second verse I relate to a lot, so it's, um... Your tear drops dried on the pages you gave me, your empty lies, there's no love that you say. Stuck in time, trying to turn all the pages. Whoa, whoa, all the time is sinking. All my love, you just threw out. Now I'm just a stranger. So, like, um, because it's like. <sighs> um, so it's like, you know, you, you talk about like when you. Oh my love, you just threw out like that bit, like because you're you're in love with someone and like you say all these things that like are gonna mean something, and then when you guys break up or like when it ends, it just kind of gets thrown out, and it's like then you just become strangers to one another, and I think that's like a a weird part of uh, of kind of like dating and just like life in general. <laughs> <laughs> stop who hurt you uh honestly y'all believe it or not i've been in a lot of i've been not in a lot i've been in uh some toxic relationships so 
Wait, you already have the new song and you listen to it? Ah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yeah, because it's like out over there because it's, it's the next day. Uh, un poquito. Uh, not much though. <laughs> How did I end up getting the role of Love, Victor? Um, honestly, that's kind of like, like it, to be honest, it sounds super cliche, but just like a lot of hard work. Like, um, I knew that this was something that like I really wanted to do. I knew that it would make like a change in people's lives. And so I worked really hard for it. Like I, I originally they re-released the role after like I auditioned a bunch and stuff like that. And then after I auditioned a bunch and they re-released the role, I was like, I could either sit down and be sad about it and let it go, or I, you know, trust my heart. And I just, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna ask if they can, if I can send in a tape or send in a tape without them even asking. And so I emailed my team and I was like, listen, I don't wanna give up on this. Please ask them if there's anything I can do. Like, I, I wanna do it again. And he, and they were like, yeah, okay. And then Josh Einstein, our, our casting director, was like, send in another tape and let's see what's up. So I sent in another tape, and then after that, they were like, okay, come in. And I went in, and I, and I met with uh, Jason Ensler, which is our producing director. And he, um, you know, so I tested with him, and he was like, all right, this is good. And then I tested again for the network one more time. So then I tested, and they, uh, you know, I, I, then I was told that was in the top two. And I was really excited. But also, like, I feel like maybe other actors can relate to, but, like, when you feel like you're going to book something, you just, like – have like a piece and I, I felt really good about what I did in the room and regardless of like what happened I knew that I was really happy with the work that I put out and so if it wasn't for me if it wasn't me doing it somebody else was going to do it and they were going to kill the job and e even more than I could so I just believed in that like I, you know I, I'm a firm believer in like when something's uh I am friends with Andres Andres is amazing um but I, I feel like when you um when you are an actor, you believe in something and you like work hard in it, right? Um, you sometimes you just know that like maybe it's not supposed to be for you. I, I'm a very strong believer in like just like letting things be as the way they're supposed to. And even though I've lost out a bunch of roles, uh, when I'm supposed to get something, I will. And when I'm not supposed to get something, I won't. And that's just my kind of mentality about it. Oh my gosh, just, uh, Ariana Grande is great. I know a little bit of, this is, this one's kind of rough, so I'm, but I'm gonna try my best. I think I know it. You know, I haven't had much to do out here because, uh, yeah, I uh, don't really have much to do out here except play the piano, kind of. So that's really all I've been doing. <laughs> Is 15th a symbolic number for me? No, it's just the middle of the month. Uh,
Uh, I don't know who Victor picked. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> well, I do. I do know. But, like, at least he told me what it is. But, like, I'm not going to spoil it. Like, I can't spoil it. Can I? No. Can I, though? <laughs> but, all right, y'all. Well, I'm probably going to... Oh, wait. What advice do I have for people my age? That's actually a good question. I'm going to answer that, and then I'm going to go to sleep because I have to... Um, What's it called? I'm going to have to work tomorrow morning. But yeah, so I guess like kind of the best advice I can give to people my age is just like follow your heart. That's always been something that's like really rung true in my life personally is just like trusting my gut and following my heart. And when I ha when I didn't do that, it always kind of... um it was kind of steered me the wrong way. Like I, I've always just followed my heart and um, whenever I do that, it's always brought me in the right direction. So I would definitely suggest doing that. Um, but yeah, guys, well, that's basically it. I don't really have much else to talk about, but uh, I love y'all for real. Thank you guys so much for coming and uh, good night. Now I just got to figure out. Oh.